Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, Stampers Delight dot com and I've been done I always wanted to say this it's live from New York <laughs> so how's everybody doing it feels like I was just here oh that's right I was last night I hope you um, tuned in for my unboxing of the mini uh, the new holiday mini catalog oh my goodness there's so many great things in there you're gonna absolutely go crazy over it so for today I have uh, what we're gonna uh, I'm going to showcase is the Pampered Pets. Good morning, Joyce. Okay, so the Pampered Pets, we're gonna, I'm going to show you that. And, of course, that's the Playful, Pet, Pets, bleh, Playful Pets Suite. Say that ten times fast. Try saying it three times fast. Hi, Steph. Hi, Christine. Hi, Julie. Thank you all for tuning in. So if you didn't see my Facebook Live last night with the unboxing of the new holiday products, you can see it uh you know, just go on Facebook, you'll find it, or go to YouTube and search Stamper's Delight. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Melissa. Hi, France. Nice to talk to you again. Hey, Matthew. Good evening. Yes, it's evening in Australia. Okay, so a couple of things I wanted to go over first, okay? If you watched my uh, YouTube video on my um, fourfold card I want to explain something because I didn't cut this is the paper the dimensions on the YouTube video and the Facebook video are correct but what I didn't do let me just put it this way um, I only cut it down to the first score line when you trim that five eighths you got to go to the very last score line make sense Okay, it will when you watch the video. I'll show it to you this way. I just wanted to let you know that I did not go all the way down. It didn't, I mean, I could have still done it that way, which I did, you'll see. But when you cut that 5 8 right here, you want to go all the way down to that larger panel. Okay? I'm sure I'll use the fold again so you'll see it. The other thing I'm going to do first is... Uh, do I have a favorite? Terry's asking if I have a favorite in the uh, mini catalog. Hmm. Uh, probably the Snowflake Bundle one. S Splendor Bundle. I don't even know all the names yet. Probably that one, but we will see as I start playing with it. The other thing I want to uh, mention is, let me grab this. This is the bag of goodies, my logo bag. I'm going to do this first, Okay. This is my logo bag filled with goodies to one lucky winner. If you tuned in on June 18th, I was very close to earning the incentive trip. And I said one, uh, anybody that ordered from me from June 18th till I hit that um, would be in the drawing for that bag of goodies. I'm not going to show you the goodies because I want the person to be surprised. Okay, but I am going to draw the name right now live. Okay, so they're all in here. Thank you all, whether you uh, ordered, you know, to get me there this time around or earlier in the year. I thank you all. Okay, so we're just going to... Okay, let's see who's going to get that bag of goodies. And then when you get the bag, you can um, definitely share what you got. I just want you to be surprised. Okay, so here's the ticket. I'm trying to find a place to put this thing. All right, let's see who the winner is. Drum roll. Patty Miller. Patty Miller in California. I'm going to be sending you that bag. And once you open it, you can please take pictures and um, upload them. So congratulations. Yes, Melissa, you can order my logo merchandise from Canada. It does take, as Vicki will tell you, it does take quite a while, but that's the way we live right now okay so and logo merchandise includes my magic mug now you see my magic mug shows my logo because my coffee's hot but once your coffee's cold it turns all black it's pretty cool i will uh put the link in here it's actually you go to little shop of gore.com and just type in stampers delight and you'll get to my logo merchandise. I'll add that link into the description. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, so a couple of other things just want to mention. So let's do that real quick. Well, 
Well, actually, let's do this because I'm going to flip the camera. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. As you can see behind me, one of the things left over from last night's face, uh, Facebook Live was this great card kit, or card display. I still haven't put it together, finished putting it together. So let's get started, okay? Oh, sorry, Joyce, you were in there. Your name was in there. Make, sorry, but you did win the sunshine package, Joyce. I hope you got it by now. Okay. If you'd like to order for me, Roseward, stampersdelight.com, here is my host code for July. Okay, don't worry, Joyce, I'll be giving away more items. Okay, so, um, a couple of things I want to tell you about. I'm changing up things this month, just a tad. This is my Whiskey Business July class. You have till July 10th to sign up for this. The class is $40 U.S., because you can only get it in the U.S. You're going to get the stamp set and these antique corners and slides, okay? Plus, you're going to get a card kit to make five cards with all the extra ribbon and embellishments I use on each card, and a step-by-step -step video tutorial. That's my July sweet and simple class, okay, for $40. I've decided to try something a little bit different. If you're a demonstrator out there, and let's say you have these two items, you can purchase the card kit and the tutorial video for $25. Okay, so that's a little bit of a change. I'm going to try it out this month. And if you don't want the card kit, but you just want the exclusive video, which will not be anywhere else, um, the video tutorial video is $15. You can just, I'm going to add all this to my blog, stampersdelight.com later today, so you'll be able to see that. Okay. Next thing I want to show you. Bonus days are going on. What are bonus days? Some people are new and they don't know about this. For every $50 before shipping and tax that you, uh, when you place an order, as long as it's $50, Stampin' Up! will email you a code, a coupon code for $5.00. You save those codes, and in August, you can redeem those codes. Okay, so let's say throughout the month, you end up spending $300. You know, you get $5 for every 50 I do want to caution you, please keep those codes in a safe place. They're like cash. They cannot be replaced, okay? If you want more information on the bonus days, just contact me. Next thing I want to show you is two things I forgot on my unboxing because last night because they were left over on the table. We have, <coughs> excuse me, I always have to cough when I'm on live. We have the rectangle tins. If anybody remembers these, we used to save Altoid tins like crazy to make little projects. Well, now we sell these cute little tins. So those are in the new holiday catalog. And we also have these other new tins, which are the round tins. Let me show you those. And I thought these were kind of small in the catalog. Look at the size of these. And they got the clear front. Oh, my goodness. So great, great tins. This is rather large. We had some small ones years ago. I forgot where we got them. And we made them into ornaments. Um, this might be a little big for an ornament. But I will definitely have some fun playing with this. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, Jean. Hi, Vicki. Glad you got on, Vicki. So those are two things on the unboxing I forgot to show. Okay. The other thing I want to mention is Paper Pumpkin for July. Um, there is an add-on. And the add-on is the Summer Nights. Four cards and envelopes. I did show these last night. I will also put the code in my description later. So if you're a pump, Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can get this add-on kit. Check this out. You don't have to use the Paper Pumpkin for it, but you get 24 envelopes. Look how nice they are, right? Oop, there they go. There's three different colors. So those are the envelopes. And a little gold foiling on the front. Are the tins food safe? Um, I'll have to check on that. I believe so, Melissa, but I will check for you. And then here are the card bases for the summer nights add-on. Look at those. 
Aren't they gorgeous? I can't wait to get my paper pumpkin so I can see what's in there to go with these. Okay, so those are the items that I wanted to show you and things I wanted to go over with you. Okay, so Playful Pets Suite includes, of course, your designer series paper, your um, trim combo, and there's the trim. This is one of those sets that I thought was cute, but I was like, ah, I don't know if I, how much I'd use it. Well, let me, tr trust me, everybody loves animals, right? So everybody's going to love cards like, with this. And then you get the little trinkets, some hearts, and some little dog bones. And, of course, the designer series paper, which you can see in the catalog. And then, so that's on page 40 and 41. And here's the stamp set, whether you're a cat lover, dog lover, mouse lover, okay? Pampered pets. And then here's the dies. I like to see the dies up close and personal. So you've got this one, and you've got the dog front, the dog back, the kitten or the cat that's laying, and then this one. So you got these four plus this great little one. When you cut these out, you got these cute little hearts. Okay, so that's the stamp set. The other stamp set I will be using because I wanted to use it, some birthdays is the Zany Zebras. I'm going to be using, um, or you'll see in the samples, Happy Birthday and It's Time to Celebrate because I really wanted to use uh, a birthday saying which was not in there. A couple other things that I'll be using is the dies from the Hippos and Friends, which I'll be showcasing that on YouTube Live Monday night. And let me show you the samples now because I know that's what you're waiting to see. So the first one I did was just a, a, a sweet and simple stamped card. Got the dog and the cat. And these are regular markers, not blends. So for those of you that are just starting out, maybe you don't have the blends. Okay. And it's just a cute little happy birthday card. And you can see I used the little, um, the little uh, birthday hat from Zany Zebras along with the saying. Okay. Just a cute little, you party animal, cute little birthday card. Okay. The next one I did, stepped it up a little bit here. And again, uh, here's my uh, envelopes with the little um, designer series paper. This one, I used the Hippo dies, which are one of my favorites, stitch dies for the enjoy. I also used from the Hippo dies the little bow ties. Okay, some red rhinestones. And then I just layered the designer series paper with some red and uh, I think that's the, let me see. Yep, that is the white. Sometimes it's hard for me to see. And I also used our tasteful texture dye or embossing folder to give it some texture back there and a little bit of that ribbon. How cute is that, right? It's time to celebrate and there's that little cute little mouse. So there's another one. Then I wanted to do something pink. I wanted to have a little pink. So I used the rectangular dies and made a frame. Now, uh, this is the larger one. I forgot which ones they are, but you just line them up to make a frame. Now that inside piece that you cut out, I flipped over and used the wording, meow, love, purr, and just flip that over and made like a little um, frame there. And of course here you can see the little paw prints. So we got some cute little pink cats. They can be stuffed animals, right? Hope your day is a real treat. Okay. Then with the designer series paper, let me bring that in for a minute and show you. The designer series paper has these great dogs and cats, okay? And the dog you can cut out with the, this dog and this cat you can cut out with the dies. The rest of them you have to fussy cut, okay? But you can cut those out. So let's move that back in. And that's just what I did here, okay? So I took the designer series paper. Again, I did it with the smaller rectangular frames and flip that. This is with the... Um, bunch of, uh, I forgot what stamp set it was, but 
the um, or, oh, artistry blooms. So grateful to have a friend like you because look at all the little doggy friends. And this one I cut with the dye. This one I fussy cut it with all the cute little dogs. So grateful to have a friend like you. And I made that a happy birthday, and you could see I used that dye right there. Okay. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Meg. Hi, Bunny. Hi, Gloria. Cute, cute, cute little one. And then I gave a little, I put a little um, bone there on the string. Okay, so that's another one. Then I did the same thing. Well, I cut them out, not the same card. But I used the kitty cats. Okay, so grateful to have a friend like you for somebody that really likes cats. And you can see I used this, um, the other framelits that we have and the dainty diamonds embossing folder. And there's the little spool of thread. So grateful to have a friend like you. And then I did, this, did the same thing. Now these guys right here, I want to show you what I did with those because at the bottom, sometimes you only have a half a, a half a pet. Okay, so you see how these aren't, the whole thing so then you can just layer those behind something okay so grateful to have a friend like you hope your day is a real treat okay so there's another one now the next two I'm going to show you before we get stamping are two that I happen to get in uh, the mail from a swap that I was in so I wanted to show you these because here's two other ideas and that's with that frame stamp set which I don't have yet Notice I said yet. So there's another cute little idea. And this is from Greta. Greta is from, doesn't say here. Okay, so Greta, this is her card. And this is one, this is one from Judy. Okay, so you can see there's a lot more you can do with these. I know, Bunny, they're so, so stinking cute. Okay. So I have two things to show you today, and I'm going to do a card that we used to do a while ago. I, I learned how to do this a long time ago, and it's a slider card, okay? So let me bring in the one I'm going to show you, and I'm going to change it up a little bit. So here's a slider card. There's my cute little cat, okay? And the cat slides back and forth and spins. So some people call the spinner card. Some people call the slider card. But when you open this, he just kind of moves back and forth. Okay, I hope your day is a real treat. Enjoy. So let's see, let's do that one first. I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna change up the colors. So I am going to use, as soon as I find my bone folder, I am going to use my soft suede. The soft suede is one of the colors that are in this suite. I'm going to put it this way. That's a regular card base size. Then I'm going to layer it up with my crumb cake. And that is, let me grab my cheat sheets. Where are they? Because I like to have these so I can give you the, okay. So the bottom piece right here is a regular card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. This right here, is four by five and a quarter. This is a little visual for you. And then the designer series paper, okay, is three and a quarter by five. And I will put the dimensions down. So those three are gonna layer up real nice, just like that. Then I have another um, piece of four by five and a quarter that's for the inside. I've already cut these little guys out, okay. What I'm going to do is bring in my punch, which, of course, I left on the other table. So let me grab that. Wouldn't be something if I didn't lose something or forget something. Okay, so this punch works great for it, okay? And this is uh, whatever the name is. What you're going to do is you're going to take your designer series paper and the way I find to do it the best way is push it all the way in. Okay? Push it all the way in and punch it out. You could use that piece for something else, of course. 
then slide it over as far, you know, how, however far you want the cat to go or whatever you're sliding and cut out a nut. Whoop. It's okay. Cause I'm going to have to, okay. Cut that out. Okay. Now this actually is not wide enough. So what I'm going to do is just go right back in there. I'll do it real close and just take another smidge out of that. Okay. So just like that, just this tiny, tiny piece. If it doesn't slide, you can go back in and take a little more. Okay. So just that little piece and made it a little wider. Okay. All right. So let's color these up first. I'm going to change up my colors. I think a bit. I am going to bring in my blends. I'm going to make this little guy. I'm going to use the light and dark cinnamon. And I like to use my dark petal pink for the inside of their ears because did you ever notice the inside of their ears are like a little pink? Okay. And we're going to take the dark first. And I'm just going to add some dark. That should be enough. Now I'm going to go in with my light and I'm just going to swirl that up. I can go right over the eyes and everything because it's Memento black ink. And I am just going to blend this all. I am in camera. If you're asking any questions, if I don't get to them, I will answer them later. I do. I said that last night on my unboxing. I had over 300 comments, not questions, but comments. So thank you for all commenting and question. I do go through everything and try to get to all the answers. Okay. So there's our cute little cat. We can call him Cinnamon since it's cinnamon color. I'm going to bring in the gray one. Again, I'm going to add a little pink, even though there's no slot there. You know, I'm just going to, like no line, I'm going to add the pink right there. Now I'm going to bring in my dark smoky slate. We'll call this, this, we got cinnamon and we got smoky. How's that? Although smoky to me seems like it should be a dog's name. Just adding some dark, okay? Blend that right up. Good morning, Valerie. And we are just going to blend that one up. Again, I can just go right over. I don't really fuss so much when it comes to coloring. And with the blends, that's the great thing. You don't have to. You can also use regular color, you know, markers like I showed you in the first card. Don't forget, still shots will be on my blog, stampersdelight.com, and also on Facebook. Okay, so now we got the two cats. All right, so to make the slider card, I'm going to bring in the base and everything first here. Okay, so we're going to take this base and my seal and you definitely want to use the seal or the seal plus because this card moving it around a lot um, it will need it okay this piece is going to go right here however you don't want to glue that down you want to use um, dimensionals I put everything on my table where my dimensionals go Oh, right in front of me. Okay. You're going to use your dimensionals for this because you need that little bit of leverage to make that slider go. You can use the um, strips or these little guys. And I'm just going to add one here and one here just to make it stronger. And then I'm going to take off those pieces. My take your pick tool is in the back of me. So let's just use the paper piercing tool. Let's 
Okay. Now I realize these, it's a dog bone and we're using cat, I'm using cats, but okay. I'm going to go right in here and lay that down. So you have a little bit of a lift here. I'm going to bring these two guys in. Now you can do, you can do this one of two ways. I I have these really thin washers. I think I got them in Home Depot or something. I don't even know what size they are, but you can see roughly. You can also use pennies. Pennies work fine too. Okay, so we're going to take this one. We're going to take some dimensionals. going to put a dimensional right in here. And then we're going to layer that one right back on there. This is what your slide you need for your slider, okay? Then we're going to take another dimensional. So you're sandwiching them, okay? And we're going to put this little kitty right there okay then what you do is you just lift that ever so gently and put that right in there lift up this piece you might have to bend it a little bit but you see I'm just lifting it up very gently and get it in that little track that you just made whoop it's easy to do it if you're not trying to do it on camera okay so I'm just lifting up that paper I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing and then just put it in that track and there you go and it slides it's gonna slide and spin okay the more you move it around the easier it becomes if it's not sliding enough and you want it to slide a little bit more take it out and take a little bit more off that track okay all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some more dimensionals and I'm just going to add this little sleeping kitty here. I'm going to slide them all around. Do, 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 do. Okay. And let's see. Do I have a couple of these cut out? Let's see. I should. I'm just going to put a little bowl here. Thought I cut some extras out. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to take the little dog or cat bowl. And we are going to color that in. So I'm just going to take my light cinnamon, put it in here so it looks like food. I'll take my dark real red and just put some of that right there. And my light real red is behind me. that okay and then we're just gonna layer this up or blend this up rather okay I'm gonna take a dimensional and add that little bowl right here so it looks like he's going over he's sliding bowl right now on this one I used a little of the um, Baker's twine ribbon to put it around like a collar since I've already put this one together I'm just going to grab one of these little hearts and a glue dot and I'll just add it onto him now okay but you can use the Baker's twine to make it look like a little collar Okay, so and that's a different color, so you see the different colors. On the inside, uh, let's see, I have this circle left from over from a paper pumpkin or something, so I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to use that. I'm going to bring in from the Zany Zebras, Time to Celebrate. I'll do that in the, I'm not sure what color I want to use. So let me clean this off. I just brought my stuff down here. Let me grab my cleaner. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I had my chamois here, and now I can't find it. Okay, well, we're just going to take the darker one. We'll use the red. Okay. And I'm just going to put time to celebrate. Again, I'm going to bring that up here. I make it look so easy. Oh, yeah, it's so, it is easy. It's very easy to do the slider or spinner card, whichever you want to call it. Okay. Time to celebrate. I don't know what they're celebrating. Maybe dinner. Okay, bring this one in. And I'm going to use Hope Your Day is a Real Treat. Bring the red in again. Hope your day is a real treat. And I just love this cute little mouse, so I have to use the mouse. There you go. And then I'm just going to put this in here. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, it's just such an adorable set for your animal lover in your life, kids. I mean, it's just so cute. Okay. And there you have your spinner cards or slider cards, whichever you want to call them. Very easy to make. And like I said, if you don't have those thin flat washers, pennies work fine. As a matter of fact, that's what I used to use when I first started making these. So there's that one. Now I'm going to show you, oh, let me show you something else. I'm not going to do this one, but since you got the basic idea, here's another one, okay? Spinner slider card with a dog, right? This one I, is a double one. What do I mean by a double one? Okay, I went through the designer series paper, then that um, next layer, right through the top layer. So all three... All three pieces of cardstock. If you go through those, you have to measure it. You have to cut it. It's, it takes a little time. But you, because these are different sizes, you can't just put the um, punch up. You put the punch up on the designer series paper and get that, and then you got to mark the next two layers because you're going to cut it all the way out into the center of the card. Watch when I flip it. There's the inside of my card, the front of the dog, and the back of the dog. Okay, so this is what I meant. You have to go through all three layers of your cardstock. And then you have a slider spinner card with the front of the dog and the back of the dog. Now, it is heavier, so it doesn't slide quite as easy. But I think it's kind of cute. So I did want to show you that. Same, same way of doing it that I just showed you. Just go through all three pieces. Yeah, maybe they're celebrating getting the mouse. That's right, Joyce. I like that. Okay, so that's that one. The next one I'm going to show you is one that we did Christmas time with the wobbles. Remember these wobbles? You can get those on Amazon. Okay, well, I used the back side of the dog for that. Look at this. Boing. Isn't that cute? And, of course, I found little pom-poms in the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Look how cute he is. Okay. Happy birthday. It's time to celebrate. Again, I use the zany zebras. Hope your day is a real treat. So let's do that one. Now, again, I'm going to change it up a bit. Or am I? I guess I'm not. <laughs> okay. Let's grab all these pieces. And for this one, well, I'll show you in a second. Okay. So this one we're doing lengthwise. This is another cute little card idea. And you can use the cats for it or the... But I'm going to use the dogs. Okay. So we're going to just layer this up. Now this one I use the textured um, embossing folder. This one I'm not going to do that. Okay. We're just going to go with it this way. Okay. Then I have these two pieces. You see they're different sizes. I have these two pieces left over. So all I did was just use them any way you want on here. You can angle them. I like to use up my pieces, so let's do it that way. So you, 
you just see it's a little bit different. Let's do it that way. And of course, this says bark, wag, love. The other one is uh, has cat sayings on it. So let's just do him this way. Okay. And then this one I want here. Doesn't really matter which way. This is another quick, cute card. Do that right there. Okay. Now, when I bring in that wobble, I'm going to show you something. Because the wobble is wider than the dog, and I don't like that wobble to show through, what I did was I took some cinnamon cider and my one and a half punch, and I did two circles. Okay. And the first circle I put down here on the paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Again, I would use the seal or the seal plus because you're going to be playing with that. And put that right there. All right. Then I'm going to bring in the wobble. And you want to make sure you use the right side. Okay, so actually either side wobbles, but I found that this one... Well, if you do it this way, this one wobbles better. Yes, you can get these on Amazon. Just type in wobbles. Okay, so I'm just whoop, I'm just going to put that right down here. Okay, see, so it's going to wobble. I'm going to bring in the dog. Again, I'm going to use this one. I used crumb. I think it was crumb cake or soft suede. This guy's going to have the new cinnamon cider. So let's grab the dark. There's no rhyme or reason the way I do mine. I just like to add some color to it. Maybe some dark on his ears. No matter which way you color this, it's going to be great. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the light. Just swirl that up. I like to swirl most of the time and grab the dark color into the light. If you do it the other way, if you do light to dark, it still actually works out well. We're going to give him a little collar in a minute. Okay. So he's all colored up. I'm going to grab the dark red. Just put that in there. Let's see if I'm going to try something here. Just change it up a little bit. So we have this cute little red. And we can actually wrap that around here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. Because I want to use one of those little dog bones. So his collar will be, his little dog bone collar will be on backwards. Because we're looking at the back of him. But that's okay. He spun it around on himself. So I cut that in an angle. Here's a little trick for you. Okay, hold that. Take this. And use your paper piercing tool whoop, or your um, your other tool there. Take your pick tool. I kind of line this up and then I use that to poke it through. Just to get a little bit through there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it helps me if the, if the ribbon starts fraying. So, there we go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this over. I'm not going to tie it in a knot because the knot, I don't want the knot to be, I don't want it to be too uh, bulky. So I'm just going to take that and twist it and tape it down. 
okay? Then I'm gonna cut these off. Oop. Cut it off, I took the whole thing off. Okay, let me fix him. Put that back there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this flat onto my other circle. Okay, when I do that, I'm gonna make sure that I get some seal right across that ribbon. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use the seal plus for this because I really want this to stick. Okay, and I'm gonna Put that right on here. All right. Then I'm going to peel this piece off. And I'm going to layer it on there. See, this way the wobble, you don't see the wobble. You just see the color. Now, here's a box, a bag of little pom-poms, all different sizes that I found in the dollar store. I wish there was a brown one in here. There isn't, so I'm just going to take the smallest black one that I can find. The Dollar Tree. I love my Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take a glue dot. I'm going to add the glue dot right here and give them a nice little furry tail. We go. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, a little cutout here. This is from the um, Hippo Friends. I love this tag. And I'm going to bring in, hope your day's a real treat. Don't remember what color I had this on. Let's just see. I had it on red. I'm just going to clean it off here because I had my chamois down here and I'm not sure where everything is so let's just go with the cinnamon hope your day is a real treat I'm gonna grab some dimensionals for that it's so nice being with you on Friday morning and not having to rush to to get on my other computer for work because we're off today okay Hope your day is a real treat. Put that right there. You could also put the dog bone right there if you wanted to. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay. And on the inside of this one, happy birthday. It's time to celebrate. So let's go with that. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to put happy birthday. Remember, I'm using the zany zebras for the birthday sayings. Happy birthday, you party animal. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab the front of the dog. And grab a piece of paper here so I don't get this all over. Because I only want part of the dog. We're just going to put the front of the dog right there. And then we'll glue that down with the stamp and seal. And there it is. I mean, you can add some ribbon if you'd like too, but aren't they adorable? Look at that. We'll have to call this one Rusty. Because it's a rusty color, the cinnamon color. We already gave the cinnamon, the cat, the name cinnamon. So I hope you enjoyed these cards. I'm going to bring in the cards again one more time for you to look at so you can see them. And then just go later on. They'll be on Facebook or my blog. Okay. All right. So we've got the two with the wobbles. And then we have our spinner slider card with the cats. We have our double slider card. 
And again, it's done the same way. You just go through all three pieces of cardstock. We have our grateful to have friends like you with the cats. Grateful to have friends like you with the dogs. And this is cut out from the designer series paper. Here's a nice pink one for somebody that loves pink. Ah, uh, yes, they are so stinking cute. And then we have this one. And, of course, we have the sweet and simple stamped one. And then the two I got in a swap. Let me show you those again. So much you can do with this set. Let me just flip the camera. So thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I really enjoyed showing you the uh, Playful Pet Suite. And again, don't forget, stamperslight.com. If you'd like to place your order with me, use the July host code. Don't use it if your order is more than $150 because you want the host rewards points. So I hope you all have a great day. Happy 4th of July and happy 4th of July weekend to all my U.S. friends. Uh, enjoy your day. I know it's not what we're used to. No big parties and barbecues, but enjoy your day anyway, okay? Thank you all so much. I will see you back here Monday night, 7 p.m. on YouTube. Sorry, not here. YouTube live, 7 p.m. Monday night with the hippos and friends and those great, great dyes. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Happy 4th of July. Bye.